Welcome to another episode of Racing to Learn. We're a nonprofit that gets kids excited about math and science. We're working on our 1990 RX7 with a 94 Chevy LT1 V8 power in it. <laughs> yeah, so that's what we're actually, uh, the adapters, so that's a brand new kit. Um, we're, we're flushing the radiator here, and you know when I originally built this car back in, or starting in 01, finally got it ran, running a couple of years later, um, I put in, here we go. for uh, we use the Prestone flush kit uh, when I, that I plumbed into the the radiator system we needed this adapter over here so this is like a, a, a male hose to male hose adapter um, essentially that's what that's gonna let us do I don't know why one side's yellow there's a check valve in here there's a check valve wait grab this this nut yeah. got some instructions back here all right, so here are the instructions to back flush, to install, to fill. Okay, so we want to back flush. Ah, okay, okay. All right, so we actually, so read this, Johan. Ooh. Uh, when I attach this, what does it say? The T cap attach yellow end to garden hose. Okay, black end to T, yellow, that makes sense. Okay, so black end to the T. So yeah, th this this car doesn't have a heater. Probably. Yeah, so I, I wanted to keep it as simple as possible for uh, reliability purposes. So I never plumbed in the heater and there's no heater core anyways because we removed that along with the dash. Nice. Um, nice and okay. Yeah, the engine gives you all the heat you need. AC is a different story. Okay. So, uh, yeah, actually from that bag, we're going to need this guy here because basically it's going to start flushing stuff out of here. We actually, we didn't need the radiator cap. Oh, we better not lose this one. Yeah, yeah. that one, I guess. Is this the deal here? You yeah. just hold this here? What do the instructions say? Uh, <coughs> hold this here? It says, uh, when appropriate, snap splash tube into radiator neck and open radiator drain. Okay. Uh, turn on water to garden hose. Okay. Night. Okay, so yeah, I think we're just going to hold this here. Check to see that liquid is emerging from the deflector tube or radiator house. Okay. Let's uh. How are we gonna engineer this? Uh, we're gonna get a, a container. Oh, in the diagram, it shows that. It shows that you're supposed to attach a hose to the drain that you attach to the radiator. Okay. I guess that's to like make the draining process less gory. It's gory. Wait, uh, Do you have any tubes you can insert in there? In, in oh, here? Into this thing, yeah. It has like a tube that's coming out. No, that's the that's the gunk coming out. Oh, it's just supposed yeah. to like fly <laughs> above the front of the car and land. Basically, oh boy. basically, um, we, we could do a couple things here because uh, we need to clean this out anyways. The overfill. Overfill. Um, so we can we can unscrew that, but I don't know about a container that'll fit there. Let's see here. I mean, they just recycled a bunch of actually stuff. Actually, in this deal. bag, in this bag, there are some tubes that might fit. Okay. Yeah, yeah, check that out. Those are just fittings. Um, maybe we fit a tube in so, Maybe this one. Boom. So water might come out of the, this overflow Here, tube, boom. too. I think this fits pretty well. Oh, okay. Yeah, and it spouts out. I'm just going to put in this under the overflow drain. Here, so look at that. You could do it like so, and then just oh yeah, okay, yeah. Or you could hold it to this. Oh yeah, 
I'll um, either you want to turn on the water or do you want to hold the the drain? I think I'll turn on the water. <laughs> I think I'll hold the drain. It doesn't matter. Yeah, you can turn on the water. Just, just um, yeah, I, I should probably keep an eye on things. Um, yeah, so just turn it on really slowly. Hi, right, sweetie. Papa, when you're done, mm -hmm. you have to wash your hair. Definitely, I will. Okay. All right, so real slowly. Real slowly. In a little bit, sweetie, in a little bit. We're, we're flushing the radiator right now. Okay, um, I'm seeing some leaking here at the T. You want more water? Uh, not yet. Let me, I'm just tightening up these fittings because it's leaking a little. Okay, yeah, now we can, we can do a little bit higher. Okay. What does it look like? Okay, a little bit higher. Here in water, a little bit higher. I'm not seeing water come out yet, so it's probably still filling what we drained out. Okay, I'm hearing, I'm hearing hoses under pressure, which is good. I'm gonna just dump this stuff out of our drain pan here, so we can see what coming out. Water's still going. Okay, yeah, you, you can progressively turn it higher. I'm just afraid it'll all come spouting out. Uh, it won't be that immediate, and if, if it does, it's just water <laughs> and cool it. So, nothing, uh, nothing too fatal. Right. Oh, here we go. It's coming. All it's right. coming. You managing it? Yep. All right. And it actually looks pretty clear. Surprising. Why are you doing that? Are you washing it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can you can turn it off now, Johan. They're washing it. Yeah. We're washing the radiator from the inside. Okay. Ew. Yuck. I think I know what's happening. Um. So. It, yeah, the water's coming out pretty clear. And. That's a good thing. Um, basically, the radiator's fairly clean, which is good. Um, but really, what we want to get to um, to flush the engine out, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to um, take out the thermostat. Which is pretty easy, you know, not a big deal. But yeah, it's coming out pretty clean, which is a good thing. Like it's not as dirty as I thought it would be. Hey, look at this. Hey, not bad, right? Yeah. I'm gonna show the camera here. I mean, there's some sediment in here. Yeah, some flex. But overall, you know, like yeah, it could be a lot worse. Like it could look like yeah, like basically like chocolate milk yeah not so worse. yeah so not too bad um so what's next yeah so uh we'll pop off um we'll take out the thermostat so we can flush the the whole engine block mm -hmm. okay so that yeah so it's right under here um under here? yeah so let yeah uh, where's that like the intake. Okay. yeah we'll take off the intake huh? same size nice yeah, so we'll take this off. Let's make sure we don't lose the clamp. Yeah, we won't usually you just need to loosen it a little bit and then we've got um, one plug here for the the intake air temperature sensor. And then another one here for the mass, that's the mass airflow sensor. So they just have these clips on them. And these weather pack, you know, waterproof connectors. And then you go easy with this. Wow. Yeah, this is a limited edition intake elbow. Is it? Yes. Or did it's... you just chop it off with something else? No. I had to buy this. Oh, it was like kind of deformed here. 
This is actually, oh wow, look at the filter. Got some damage to the filter too. This is a K&N, uh, I, I don't remember what diameter, but yeah, it's got some damage on the bottom. Um, yeah, but this is a this is called the One LE intake uh, manifold here, or intake elbow, which was kind of a rare thing. It was the One LE, which they still have on the Camaro nowadays. They have a Camaro, what is it, Z twenty eight or SS One LE? The One LE is basically the racing package. So you know, a little goodie there. The the stock one had a, a an extra tube coming off the bottom here called the Heimholtz resonator. He was like, other people called it the, the, the donkey something. <laughs> Real funny looking thing, basically to control the resonant frequencies coming out of the engine so it didn't vibrate. Um, yeah. Anyways, um, we're gonna continue with this. Uh, let us know what you guys think of videos like this. We'll continue the flush. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks again for watching.